All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And I know it's been a while since I last made a video here on the channel. I do apologize for that. I have been working a lot lately during the week. As you guys know, crypto is my side hobby right now that I do in my spare time. So I try to make content as much as I can, but of course, sometimes life happens and I just don't have time to make videos or share with you guys. But that doesn't mean I'm not active in the crypto space. I'm always actively checking out my crypto portfolio and different things I have cryptocurrency staked and yield farming in. And one of the projects here that we want to make an update on is Octree. Now the title of this video is Decision Day for Octree. Now for those that have been following this Creative Crypto YouTube channel since the beginning, you would have seen that I was in Octree when it first got listed on PancakeSwap at around $22. That's when I bought into Octree and that's when I made the first video on Octree and recommended that you guys take a look at it and see what you guys think about the project. That was back on February 28th of this year. So almost six months ago is when I shared this project with you guys. And this project is still around and it is still around and doing extremely well. We are still at a 10x valuation from when I first bought in and shared the project on YouTube. And with all the volatility we've had, especially in the yield farming space, this is extremely impressive because you've seen plenty of yield farming projects come out like Goose Swap, like Ape Swap, Bakery Swap, all these other projects, and their tokens pump and they dump. And they really don't recover and it's really not profitable to yield farm those tokens. But for Octree, it's done an amazing job here of holding its value extremely well. You know, of course, it's best to buy in at the very beginning at $20. And then anything you decide to yield farm from then on out is at a 10x valuation from what you put in. So for me and most people that bought in early on this project, we are in so much profit in this that it's really, really insane so i would say octree has been the second best project on pancake swap as far as consistency and holding its value octree is right up there with pancake swap i would believe one and two and just nothing else has been able to hold its value at a 10x valuation i mean this thing hit as high as 20 30x at one point at the very highs and so it's been an amazing ride but of course you know all great things don't last forever and really nothing lasts forever in cryptocurrency and the fact that we're six months in and this thing is still around at this price is very impressive but that doesn't mean it's going to continue that way and unfortunately that's the reality of cryptocurrency as you can see what i have in octree is i'm mining their oak token here okay so oak is a currency that they use to pay mining rewards for Octree and BNB pairs. I've been mining this since the very beginning when it first opened up and basically just been printing money ever since. And it's been so good because I've been able to print money at a 10X valuation, 10 to 20X from what I actually put in. So with this, I've just made insane profits. It's been my most profitable investment really up there with PancakeSwap. It's really, they're really one and two, if not one and one A. And just the amount of money that we've been able to generate off of this project has been truly, truly remarkable. And, you know, shout out to the team on this. Shout out to the people running Octree. You guys have done amazing. However, it is decision day for Octree. And what does that mean? Well, decision day means that if you guys have been watching my videos, okay, you can check out the old video on Odyssey because I had some haters strike down my YouTube channel. But you can see if you go back and look at this video that they used to show their liquidity that the team has has been locked for six months. Now that is set to get unlocked in September, September 4th, actually. So very soon, a little bit less than two weeks here. And so that's why it's decision day. And, you know, that's why this price, I believe, has been able to stay so steady throughout this time is because the team was very generous and they locked up pretty much all of their tokens and the liquidity, 85% of the liquidity in the pancake swap liquidity pool and so because of that they haven't been able to dump they haven't been able to really manipulate the price it's been very organic price movement and it's been holding very steady and it's very remarkable i honestly i don't see any other projects doing this except pancake swap really with cake that has been able to hold its value pretty well 
So those are the positives with Octree. You know, if you got in it from the very start like me, you can see how impressive this project is when you compare it to other projects that flame out in literally a couple weeks. And we've been able to pull profits off this going on six months now. All right, so now it is decision day. And decision day means what is the team going to do when their liquidity gets released? Because 85% of the liquidity for Octree is in their pair on PancakeSwap. So the team, because of that, you know, they've been so generous with this. Really, what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to remove the liquidity, collect all those fees that have built up in there, and then restake the liquidity depending on the valuation at that time. And, you know, it might be a little different. So it may make that price fluctuate. People might get scared. There might be FUD when they remove the liquidity. And so because of that, I really don't want to be caught in that type of a downward spiral, okay? Because we've never really seen that with Octree. It's really just been very consistent and really a unicorn in this pancake swap finance smart chain space. Okay, so we're mining oak here. Another reason why that I think it's time to really make a decision is you can see that almost all of the oak has been mined. Now, once all the oak has been mined, that means they can't pay out any of the mining rewards for people mining oak. So at that point, they're going to have to switch to a different model and see what happens after that. So I'm just going to go through kind of what I'm looking at here, guys, when I make my decision on these projects, because in crypto, you really cannot get married to any project. You have to get in, make some money, lower your risk, take some profit, take some ROI, and then decide what to do with the house money or whatever you have moving forward. As tough as it is to make a decision to move on from a project sometimes, sometimes it just is inevitable because of what they're putting out and what they're showing you. With this, what do they have here? Okay, they have a lottery that they launched. Really cool lottery, okay? My only snafu with the lottery is it's way too difficult to win because I assumed that when you match these emojis, now see, they had changed this where it says win one or two, three match in the same order, okay? So you have to literally match in the same order. So if I bought into this lottery here and I had the pizza, let's say I had the pizza in the second slot and I had the fox in the first slot. Even though I matched all three correct, I would win zero because I didn't match it in the correct order. Okay, so it's very difficult. Um, you know, look at all these different emojis. You have a ton of different emojis. Not just to get one, but you have to get in the correct order. So your odds are astronomical on this. So let's count. We have two, four, six, eight, nine, nine times three. So we got 27 emojis here. So that's 27 possibilities for each space. Then you have to account for order. So then you basically have to do 27 to the 27th power. Okay, and that gets your odds of getting one of these in the correct order. It's really astronomical at that point. So I wish the team had kind of thought that through a little bit more because you, you do want to have winners with the lottery. You don't want to just have all losers and so it's impossible to win because nobody's going to play. You want to have some winners. That's how lotteries work. Okay, so even if you had done this where you just match the emojis without the exact order, people really wouldn't win that often. You know, it really wouldn't be that much of a risk to do that. So that kind of turned me off a little bit from that. Okay, but all in all, this is a very innovative concept. I've been waiting for somebody to do this where you can make your own lottery ticket. It's not just an automatic ticket from a computer. You can actually click your own number or your own emoji in this case and you can make your own lottery ticket that is really innovative and all on the blockchain decentralized very good concept just they just need to tweak it a little bit better so that to me is just kind of a turn off okay and then we go over here they've never actually launched their other farming they've been waiting to do that for a long time and we've never seen any other farming in here except for the oak mining Okay, so they've been waiting for that for a while. Now they did launch their DEX aggregator, which is great. You can find the best price on different exchanges. I actually use that all the time uh, to figure out the best price. It's very easy and simple. Their swap method, you can do the swap right here, find the best price on any of all these exchanges on any token. So pretty cool feature there. I was waiting for the arbitrage feature. They said they were gonna have an arbitraging feature that you could use. You'd have to hold Octree to use it. We haven't seen that. We haven't seen anything with this treasury. We also haven't seen the dice game 
been updated and brought back. So not much, you know, going on here as far as products released. You know, their big thing was the lottery. And like I said, in my opinion, it's not good enough to attract enough daily players. So you add all that in, plus the liquidity being unlocked from their six-month lock that they locked up. Folks, let's face it. This Octree project has deserved enough respect to take some profit of themselves. Okay, they deserve to take some profit. And they probably are going to take a big profit. Now, do I think they're completely going to rug on the community? Because they really could. They honestly could rug everybody. What they would do is they would remove their liquidity. Then they would sell all their Octree tokens and sell it into this liquidity over here that we put up for the mining. And that would pretty much rug pull this entire project. They could do that. That is a possibility. I don't think it's a very high possibility that they're going to do that because that would basically just end this project after six months. And I hope they don't do that, but that is a possibility in this space, guys. You have to really be aware of it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make my decision, and my decision is to be out of Octree once that liquidity gets removed. And let's see how all that plays out. You know, maybe they decide to not remove the liquidity and just lock it up again for another six months. I don't know. Okay. But I don't want to be caught in the crosshairs and I don't want you guys to be caught in the crosshairs. If you kind of just forgot that the liquidity is getting unlocked and all this stuff is happening that you guys don't get caught, you know, unexpectedly and wonder what is going on with this project. So because of that, I have made the decision to remove my liquidity and I'm going to do that right now in the video show you guys how to do that okay so you just press there you remove your liquidity and then you will be able to remove that from pancake swap as well so what am i going to do with this liquidity i'm going to split it 50 50 between ku swap and sunday swap i'm going to wait for this to launch on cardano this could be a pancake swap competitor it could do very well okay this is Cardano's like first DeFi type project. This one is not released yet. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have this wallet here, this Yori wallet on Cardano. It's like MetaMask. You can get it here. You can watch the video and just get set up. You know, you can also have Cardano on Exodus, hold your Cardano there and then send some over here to test it out. You know, make sure everything's working good. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to buy half Cardano. I'm going to hold Cardano waiting for the Sunday swap and then I'm going to get into Ku swap and the reason why is because I do think this still has potential to grow and they have some pretty good returns on this so I'll go into that in the next video kind of my strategy with this in particular but what I plan on doing is pairing Ku swap token and Qcoin token yield farming that and then taking the profits from that and putting that into the pools okay so just using this as a hundred day challenge to where i take all the yield farming profits for a hundred days and i put it into the house pool where you can stake the ku swap token and earn about 400 percent apr i'm going to put all my profits in there for about 100 days and i'm going to see how much i can make and i'm just going to pull profits from the ku swap pool so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to wait for Cardano to launch their Sunday swap, okay? So between those two, that's what I'm going to use my Octree liquidity for, you know? Yes, I wish that this could last forever, and they just continue to innovate, and this token goes to 5000 per Octree, which is what I thought it would get to, okay? We got up to as high as 600 with this, and plenty of profit taking along the way, guys. Plenty of time to take profits, so... If this thing does completely rug out, you know, don't get upset because we would have so much time to make money off of this that, you know, sometimes I just don't blame them. You know, the, these developers, you know, they want to make money too. I get it. There's a way to make money without rugging the community, but sometimes these guys just do whatever they want. So you have to put yourself in the position where you're not caught in that situation. Okay. So just be aware, be aware of what's going on and, you know, learn accordingly. So here we are. I'm going to remove the liquidity there. So it's going to give me 4.9 Octree and 2.1 BNB. Not too shabby. So about two grand, about that. 
there. So that's exactly what I was thinking. So I'll split one grand in each. I'm going to buy one grand worth of Cardano and then one grand of two coin token and then split that with KuSwap. Put that in the yield farm. And that'll be it, guys. That will be what my plan is. Okay. And then wait and see, you know. Maybe Octree comes up with something truly amazing and I decide to get back in. That's always a possibility. I'm not saying I'm done forever with this project, but it's been here for six months. We've made a ton of money on this and, you know, it's just time to collect the rest. You know, why leave house money on the table if you can take all that house money and be prepared? So that's what I'm going to do. And you guys can decide to do the same or not do the same if you want to. It's really up to you. So I forgot to hit the remove button on there. So you have to enable, then remove, then confirm. And then you will be able to get your tokens back there once it gets the gas price in there. All right, confirmed. I'll just wait for that transaction to complete. And here we are. The transaction has been completed. I'm just going to sell it for BUSD at the moment just to hold its value. And then I'm going to send that BUSD to Binance and trade it for some Cardano. Okay, so put your slippage at 5%. And then I'm going to do it for BUSD. All right, 5% slippage. And it will go through, guys, just like always. We'll confirm that. So, yeah, amazing, amazing project, Octree. I give two big thumbs up to the Octree developers and people working on the Octree project. Honestly, you guys have been the most reputable project in this space. It will be a shame if you guys don't continue to do that. I, I, like I said, I don't see any signs that they're not going to do that, but there is some little red flags here along the way. So I do have to be aware of that and just prepare my community and people that are following and maybe watching and deciding what they want to do. You know, I always want to be transparent on what I'm doing. I just don't want to secretly get out of this project and not let you guys know because, you know, I'll let you guys know when, when we first got in. I'm going to let you guys know when I first get out. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's really all I had, guys. Just wanted to update you guys on the strategy here, what's going on with Octree and what I'm deciding to do with the project. And just be prepared. Just be prepared, and that's all we can do in this space. So really, truly incredible. I put about 500 bucks into this and turned it into well over 10 grand or more. And just amazing times, amazing times. I hope they continue. I really do. I really hope this project proves me wrong and, you know, they just pump this thing and, and get some good products out and really just hit all their goals. So it could happen and we'll see what happens, guys. So you guys do what you want. Don't just follow what I'm doing. You make your own decisions. Just use my video as research. And when you decide to do what you want to do, it is because you made that decision. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys are doing well out there and being safe and making some money. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and take charge. Creative Crypto, out.